ஹாய் மாலுதி விஜயகுமார் வெல்கமிங் யூ ஒன்ஸ் அகெயின் டு மீன் மேன் குக்ஸ் இன் டுடேஸ் எபிசோட் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி அ ரசம் புஜீஸ் பெப்பர் ரசம் லெட் சி தி இன்கிரீடியன்ஸ் ரிக்வயர்ட் பட் ஹாஃப் கப் தூர் தால் குக் வித் அ பிஞ்ச் ஆஃப் டர்மரிக் பவுடர் லெமன் சைஸ்ட் பால் ஆஃப் டேமரண்ட் எக்ஸ்ட்ராக்ட் சால்ட் டு டேஸ்ட் 2 teaspoons of jeera half a teaspoon of coriander seeds 1 teaspoon of peppercorns a tablespoon of ghee mustard 1 teaspoon half a teaspoon of hing powder 2 red chilies these for seasoning 6 to 7 garlic pods just a teaspoon of jaggery 2 medium sized tomatoes cut fine a few curry leaves a few coriander leaves now let's first dry roast the coriander seeds along with the peppercorns and jeera it's nice and hot you can see the smoke so i'm adding the pepper the coriander and the jeera just lightly dry roast you get a good smell now we'll make a coarse powder of this along with the garlic i'm switching off the gas smell is very good if you have lots of coriander you could add the stalks of the coriander to this this will not be in a powder form because we have added the garlic this is how it should look i can get the smell it really smells good now let's prepare the rest of the rasam i have used the hand pestle to make a coarse powder of the pepper etc If you are going to grind it in your mixer grinder, ensure it definitely comes to room temperature. Even for the hand pestle, it's better. It's at room temperature. It's cool, but it's crisp, and you can easily powder it. After you add the garlic, naturally, the juice of the garlic makes it a paste. Now let's light the gas and go to the tempering. The wok is nice and hot. Let's add the ghee. in goes the mustard the hing and the red chilies before it burns add your tomatoes we want the tomatoes nice and soft so we can add a little salt to it now the tomato is cooked nice and mushy Let's add the cooked dal and the tamarind extract. We can add about two to three cups of water to this. This water we've taken from the pestle. Whatever was sticking onto it, see why waste all this? the flavor is in that only we can add the curry leaves let it boil well because the raw smell of the tamarind needs to go we can add the jaggery so that it melts in this we don't get lumps i'm adding the jaggery we added only a little salt to the tomato so we can add another quarter teaspoon there's no problem in this if the salt is insufficient you can always add again normally for most curries when we do the tempering we add the curry leaves but somehow for rasam i prefer to add fresh leaves and not add it in the tadka because it changes the flavor of the curry leaves we need to get the nice fresh smell and taste of curry leaves and coriander 
you can add coriander leaves in excess for this rasam particularly because it gives a very good flavor. It's boiling well, but let it boil a little more because I can get the tamarind smell. Just take a look at the consistency. It needs to be a little watery only, not very thick like a sambar. It's boiled well. Let's add the ground powder. Give it a stir. Don't boil the rasam for too long after adding this. Just one boil and put off your gas. We've already roasted so it won't smell raw. I'm switching off the gas now. So that was Bhuji's rasam for you. Why is it called Bhuji? Because it was my good friend, my childhood buddy who introduced me to this rasam. Her mother Pata was an ace at this. This rasam is extremely tasty but nowhere near where what Pata used to do. Uh, hers was 100%, Bujis maybe I would say 85 to 90%, mine I would say 75 to 80% only. So please do try it and if you come across any tips for this, do share it with us. This goes very well after you've had a nice heavy non-veg meal particularly uh, because the regular purpurasam, the powder which you've already seen, is not a good combination for non-veg. This is very good with non-veg. And on a cloudy day like this, just sip on a hot rasam. Amazing. I'm sure this has motivated you to cook. Do try it and give your feedback. For the recipe, click on meanman.com for all your non-veg requirements as well. Click on meanman.com and place your orders. Uh, do follow us on FIT. That is Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. I'm sure you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed showing it to you. Thank you.